Hello, I'm Officer Peter Kichocho with the Harker Heights Police Department, currently assigned to the Community Services Division. What do you do? I'm a police officer first, um, but I'm assigned to the Community Services Division, which means our, our main focus is community outreach and education, uh, being a li liaison between the community and businesses in the community with the police department for issues that we can try to solve without having patrol go out there. Okay. What education did you need to become an officer? Uh, definitely need your high school diploma or GED. Um, some college would be great. If you can get your degree, that's even better. Um, and then uh, if you have that, you'll go through our application process. They'll send you to the academy if you get chosen. Uh, the academy is about four to six months long, depending on where you go. Um, and then once you finish with the academy, you'll come over to the police department and begin your on-the-job training, which we call field training. Uh, that's another few months, um, and that that's that's the hard part. So the academy, you get all your book work in, um, and then you put that to use in the street when you come out to field training. Okay. So why did you want to become a police officer? Um, I started out um, as a dispatcher, um, so 911, and uh, for the Highway Patrol out in California. Then I moved here to Texas, and I worked as a dispatcher for the Texas Highway Patrol. And then I started working for Harker Heights as a dispatcher as well. And um, I just, as a dispatcher, you hear one, the initial part of, of the call, people needing help, um, and then you send the officers, and then you just, you don't have any closure, you don't know what happened, if they were help, helped or not, and as I, as I was working as a dispatcher, it just kept burning me up that I wanted to be out there physically, face-to-face -face with these people, helping them. Okay, what qualifications make a good police officer? Uh, you definitely have to be trustworthy, you have to have integrity, um, you have to Make sure you always do the right thing, especially when no one's looking. You have to be that that role model all the time. Even when I'm home, uh, if I'm off duty and I'm shopping or you know anything with the family, I still have to make sure that I'm that role model that they can look up to and always do the right thing. Perfect. How do you use reading in your profession? Reading is very important in my profession. Um, anytime we make an arrest or have any kind of cases, we have to write a report. And if we write a report that is not grammatically correct, uh, the punctuation's off, um, it's, it makes you look bad because it makes you look like you don't know what you're doing. And then uh, it's hard for the DA or to prosecute if, if it's a really terribly written report. So it's important for us to do that to make sure that the bad people go to jail or you know stay off the streets and not hurt anybody else. Okay, thank you so much for your time today. Yes, ma'am, thank you.